Hi everyone. Uh, if you guys haven't seen already, I already posted my reaction to the Sonic Movie 3 trailer. This right here. Um, this video is about breaking down all the different Easter eggs and references and pretty much trying to figure out as much as we can with this movie and, well, just see how many things we can find because just in that one watch alone, if you guys saw the reaction, I found a good bit of things in there. Like, I saw Maria. I saw, well, we obviously saw her death. That is going to rip out a lot of people's hearts, but we know it has to happen because it's part of Shadow's backstory. We saw, I believe, the Space Colony arc, but we'll double-check that in a moment. We saw Gerald Robotnik. Like, there's a lot to talk about with this movie. But before we even get into the breakdown, I want to do a rewatch over of it. Because during my reaction, uh, unfortunately I had notifications out the wazoo because Facebook couldn't shut up. So, because of that, um, I'm going to rewatch it again properly. You're not going to get like a super hype reaction on me or anything, but... I just, I just want to do it right, because this is a movie that needs to be seen in full without notifications blocking its view. So, let's watch it again, together. So, three, two, one, play. Sonic, you finally found your family. Try to keep up. It looks really good, man. Like, the CG looks fantastic. Yeah, in my lungs. <laughs> in my wand. Oh, Sonic. And then he does like a cool little spin. Prison Island. There's been a high level security breach. Shadow looks amazing. And we need Team Sonic's the CG has assistance. definitely been upped. Like, this, this feels big Shadow budget. Is far beyond anything we've ever encountered. Shadow's oh, story man. began a lot like your Sonic. Shadow looks so cool. But where you found family and friends. <laughs> They're having a race. Alright. That seems gonna rip all lights out, but it has to happen. Start with the giant fireball? I love it. Let's start with the giant fireball. Let's start with the giant fireball. He is much more impressive than the hedgehog I fought previously. Dude, <laughs> I'm standing right here. Roasted. You're a colorful bunch. We don't want to fight you. And you Such are a badass hedgehog. I would And then he breaks his wrist and immediately kicks down tails. Like, this guy has no chill, and I love it. This man has no chill. He's too powerful. You got him? Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. That has me worried. It has me wondering. I'll talk about it later, so. Yeah, we finally got a big fat Robotnik. <laughs> it only took three movies. We need your help on one condition. Jim Carrey having fun. He's going to continue to be the highlight for many people. I need room. Sir, I don't have the proper materials. Found some. <laughs> Bouncing. And then you got Living Land the Back. Keanu sounds so good as Shadow, dude. Like, fans weren't wrong about that. Man. Oh. Yeah, he. Okay, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. I'm sorry. We'll talk about it. Awesome, bro. This movie looks so good. Home, <laughs> and then this whole scene's pretty funny. I know it says December 2024, but we already know the release date's December 20th. I don't know why they won't just put it on the trailers and posters already, because we already know. But, okay, so that was my rewatch of it. 
uh, trailer is amazing, bro. Like, this is easily the best Sonic trailer. And we've had a lot of amazing Sonic trailers over the years. So, you guys know how we do it here. We're going to mute the volume. We're going to turn to 2.5 speed. And we're going to pick apart as much as we can from it. Wait, why is it 360? Excuse me. Oh, it's a joke. Okay. I forgot. I'm on mobile, not on PC. If we were on PC, this would be 720p at least. Alright, let's check it out together. Step by step, piece by piece. Here we go. So we open with Sonic running around in the woods. Looks great. Like, the CG has definitely been upped. Like, everything feels a lot higher quality. Like, not to say that the quality of the CGI of the other two movies or the Knuckles show was bad. They were not. They were fantastic in their own right. But here, they've somehow managed to make it even better than it already was. So, that's really cool. That is really, really cool. And then you have Knuckles leaping off the Big Ben. Because they're, I believe they're in London right now. Because they're Sonic running up the London Bridge using it as a ramp to propel himself into the sky, like, this feels e HD. Okay, now we have a cute little uh, chalk drawing of Sonic and Longclaw on a green hill loop. You even got, like, the palm trees, like, that's a cute little Easter egg, and it's a nice way for him to homage his mom. So, that's a nice way for him to pay tribute. Then you have a uh, confirmation that James Marsden will be back as Tom Wachowski. Uh, I know after Wachowski, sorry, not Wachowski, Wachowski. Because I know after the whole quiet on set thing, we were unsure whether or not he would be allowed to come back. But thankfully he has come back and he seems to be just as good as he always is. Like, look at Sonic's expression, like... Yeah, in my lungs. <laughs> like, it's Sonic still being Sonic, man. And you have him, like, grinding up a tree. And then you have this really cool spin with, like, this little aura around his shoes. You still got the Paramount uh, logo with rings. I'm glad they didn't get rid of that. I love that. It, that is, it's cute. And then we jump right into the dark stuff with Prison Island. Got a heart monitor. And I think that is... Who's that over, uh, overwatching him? Uh, that's a gun agent. Okay, I thought for a sec that was stone. But yeah, this is Shadow's little prison chamber. Got the red light and everything. And he definitely looks way different than he did in movie 2. Because I'm going to say it again, in case for those who don't already know... The uh, model of this guy that you saw in Sonic Movie 2 in that post grad scene, that model, if my Snapchat can shut the flying flip up, that model was a reuse of Super Sonic. Whereas this, it's a completely new model designed from the ground up to be more accurate to the games. So, let's continue. Like, three minute trailer. Like, jeez, I did not expect them to release a, a big trailer like this. Uh, confirmation the other guy's back. Ah, oh, Shadow looks so cool. You can see the aura emanating around him. And then you have this close-up of his eyes with that lightning. Like, yo, like, this looks amazing. Shadow looks like Shadow. And he's already pissed. And then this shot... I love this slow motion glass break that also shows like pieces flying, it has a close up of his fist showing the texture of his gloves, and you see water rushing out of the hole that he just punched through. Like, badass, bro. Badass. Shut up! Snapchat. And then we have Sonic and Friends flying through a ring in a helicopter. Uh, I cannot tell where they were previously in that ring. It's really hard to see it. But, yeah, it's there. And 
Uh, the green around it has me thinking that this helicopter is powered by the Master Emerald. Because that's the same kind of aura. Like, if you look, the way it makes, yeah. And then you have, like, the light in the back. It is definitely powered by the Master Emerald. So, in this movie, Sonic and Gun work together. So, it's not, it's not entirely like it is in Sonic Adventure 2, where uh, Sonic hunts down... Well, Sonic is hunted down by Shadow and Gun, and Gun hunts them both. Here, they they know there's a clear difference between the two, and Sonic's actually working with Gun. So, very interesting. I did not think they would do that. And then this is where the standee came from. This is what the standee is supposed to look like in full CGI. Amazing. Like, the texture of his shoes, you actually have, like, the water effects on his fur, like, dude, this is next level stuff. And then Shadow himself. He's perfect, man. He's Shadow. He's exactly how you want Shadow to look. He's got his correct chest fur. He's got the red eyes. He has the red uh, ridges around his brow. He has all the red lines going down his spikes, and all his spikes are 100% correct by all of them going up rather than going down. But not up to the point of, like, supersonic, but just, like, a little bit. But, man, he looks so freaking cool. Like, they, they, there you are doing our boy Shadow justice. This really is his year. They are doing him justice. Though, I will say... Uh, this, uh, this plush definitely makes him look a little more friendly. <laughs> like, it's still an amazing plush, I love this thing, but, uh, they don't really do a good job making him look menacing, per se, which, I mean, I get it, it's a movie that's still gonna be seen by kids, so they can only do so much, but, I mean, yeah, this guy, I mean, he's a little threatening, but he's a little bit more friendly, whereas this shadow is menacing as hell. Like, just from this one image... He's menacing, and he looks incredibly just intimidating and ready to whoop everybody's ass. Like, this is Shadow. This is 100% Shadow as we know him from the games. And then confirmation that he does have his teleport. Even got the red lightning effects. Then we have Sonic searching around a room, which I think this is supposed to be like the abandoned laboratory of Gerald Robotnik. It would make a lot of sense because it looks like he's looking around for some kind of evidence. Uh, I cannot tell what those things are in the back, but that definitely looks like an Eggman figure of some sort back there on that desk. But it is really hard to tell because it's so far away. I'm pretty sure we'll get an answer on what that actually is when we see the movie. And then, this shot. I mean... We know... We know about Maria. We know she was in the movie, and we know that uh, she has to die for Shadow's backstory to be accurate. But man, shots like this are just beautiful. The green light coming out of the tube, you see Shadow smiling for once because he's with his one and only friend. Like... I have a feeling that this scene's gonna make me cry when I see it in the theater, bro. And then we have the commander telling Sonic about, you know, how Shadow's different from him. Where we also have some footage of the three brothers having a race. Seeing who's faster. Sorry, bad. Paused it at a bad spot. And then this shot. This shot here that shows just how emotionally broken Shadow is. Like he's been through so much pain and turmoil and loss, and you just you can feel that in this image of him looking back at his own shattered reflection. No wonder Paramount waited so long to drop it. They, they were cooking hardcore. Yep, and then, yep, yep, this scene, yep. I mean, we knew it was coming, but 
Oh, it's going to make me cry. We have to watch Maria die. And I think that's Gerald Robotnik right there. So I think we're either going to see Gerald earlier on than we expect when he meets up with Eggman. Or we're going to see uh, a flashback at some later point in the movie. But yeah, like just both of them looking over Maria's dead body. Like, it's jeez. If this is still PG, I'm going to be surprised, because usually a dead kid is usually an automatic PG-13, especially if it's gruesome and on screen. But, yeah, they did something that most horror movies don't have the balls to do. They killed off a kid on screen. Like, jeez. This has got to be PG-13. It's got to be. There's no way that this is PG. There's no way. And then we have Sonic and Tails having an exchange. I gotta say, I love that Tails has this giant aviator helmet. It's not like his little cap from, from the second movie. Here he has a full-on just giant flight helmet. <laughs> it's fitting on his character, and even though it's humongous, it looks absolutely adorable on him. So, uh, Jax, please release a variant with this. I, I would buy it immediately to go along with Aviator Tails. And uh, from what I can tell, this is in Tokyo, which explains why the Sonic Movie account and Games Cage shared the Tokyo one specifically, of all like the different silhouette shots that were on on the internet. I'll put up a few now, so you can see what I'm talking about. But I see now why they chose Tokyo, because Tokyo is where the big battle is going to be with Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles versus Shadow. So, cool. <laughs> Starting with the big red fireball. <laughs> like, it's still got the comedic relief of the first two, but it's definitely taking a much darker, serious tone story-wise. And then you have all of them leaping out of the airplane. I assume he, uh, Tails can, like, put the, put the helicopter in autopilot. And then here we have them in Shibuya Square in Tokyo. And they're all just ready to fight. And then you have Shadow just making himself known on top of a pile of fire and rubble. I don't know how you can make him look more badass than that. Seriously, I don't know how else you can make him look that badass. It's just like it is in Sonic Adventure 2, where Shadow was standing on top of destruction and rubble, when he came across Sonic, or when Sonic came across him. And then we have a, a joke about Knuckles saying this is the most fearsome opponent he's ever faced, and Sonic's right there. <laughs> Even Tails is looking over like, bruh, really? <laughs> like, they're keeping the comedy, and I like that. And look at Shadow's animation, bro. Like, even seeing his eyes go down when he, as he's saying the line, you're a, col you're a colorful bunch. And Keanu's voice acting, like, no wonder people wanted this guy as Shadow for so long. He fits the role perfectly. Keanu is Shadow. Shadow is Keanu. This does feel like him maybe like going like a, with a deeper tone voice and trying to sound a lot more menacing. And I gotta say, it is refreshing to see Keanu Reeves playing a villain for once. Instead of the main protagonist or someone that's on the hero side of things. Here he is a straight up villain. And he sounds badass as Shadow. Sorry, I know I'm saying the word badass a lot, but that's the way to describe this trailer, dude. This trailer is badass, and Shadow is a big reason why. And then we have some banter back and forth between the two. And Knuckles admitting to Sonic that he's just going to fight him now. <laughs> because apparently Knuckles has just learned absolutely nothing, and just wants to do his own thing. And yep, and this is another, yep. Another example of Shadow having his teleportation. 
that was a very important thing that I was worried about because that is an important part of this character. But no, he has a teleport. And he looks like freaking awesome. I know that the fire is not coming out of his rocket shoes, but in this shot, it kind of looks like it is, and it looks very cool. Like, this shot right here is all you need to really sell the movie. Just Knuckles rushing at Shadow, who just used his teleport and is now in air, ready to counter whatever he's going to try to throw at him. Like, it's just Shadow being Shadow, man. Exactly what we wanted. And even Knuckles is surprised. And then, this is where the brutality comes into play, because Shadow grabs the top of Knuckles' hand twists it, and breaks his wrist. Like, this this guy ain't taking no prisoners. He is so cool. And it's pain that Knuckles has never felt before. And then Shadow just bodies him. And of course, Sonic is already angry and ready to take him down. But then... Oh, poor Tails gets immediately decked. Oh, poor Tails. Poor Tails just gets immediately knocked out before Sonic even knows what's going on. Because Shadow seems to be even faster than he is. And then he turns around, he uses his teleport again, grabs him by the throat, flies into the air with his rocket shoes, teleports again, and then uses that momentum... To grab him by the throat again, propel again with his rocket shoes, and slam Sonic into the ground while still holding his throat. Like. Dude, it's like a Dragon Ball Z fight. It's Goku versus Vegeta. Except it's Sonic versus Shadow. And Shadow is brutal. Like. Shadow is absolutely brutal. Okay, now let's take a look at this here. I need to take a closer look at this thing. Um, a few people are asking if this is the Space Colony arc from SA2. Um, I can't really say. I mean, it kind of looks more like a usual Eggman spaceship to me, because of the red with the whole metal design. It looks like something Eggman would drive, but it's a little hard to tell because it's so far away, but... I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if this was the Ark rising out of the ocean after years of being buried. Just, again, like in Sonic Adventure 2. But, I don't know, it's a little too hard to tell, but I'm pretty sure this is still taking place in London. So, this is either, like, the Sonic crew being on vacation in London, or there's something else going on here. And then this shot... There's a reason why this was the shot I had for the first thumbnail for the reaction video, because this, again, it's Shadow being Shadow, and Shadow is a badass mother. But, like, he is literally doing his classic skating animation on the water. Pretty much taking that cool scene from Sonic 2 and making it even cooler. Just Shadow being Shadow, man. And the animation's so good here, like, and then you have him fighting against the gun soldiers. And you have him doing his signature roundhouse kick directly from Shadow 05. Like, dude, how more freaking sick can you get? Now, this has me wondering. Oh, wait, does that say Guardians of the Globe? Well, hard to tell. I can't tell if Tom stole that outfit or if he got a new job. But this shot right here has me wondering if Tom's going to get killed off. Like, think about it. They're going with a darker tone. Uh, Sonic later in the trailer asks, what did you do in pure anger? And Shadow just says, what I had to. My guess is they're going to kill off Tom during his escape from Prison Island. And then Sh uh, Shadow is going to fight Sonic, and Sonic's going to have uh, rage 
burning in his soul because he lost his dad. I'm probably overthinking it, but that's just the way that I'm seeing it right now. This shot has me worried that either Tom's going to get captured or Tom is going to die. If they kill off Tom, that's going to be a, a big character death because he's been in all three of these movies. And then, of course, you have the shot that uh, they were using as the thumbnail for their trailer, for the trailer. This right here. Um, awesome. We can see that shadow. While most of his aura is red, he also has an orange to it. So I'm wondering, can he change, like, the color of his aura at will? Or is it depending on, like, the amount of rage that's burning in his soul? Like, I don't know. It's so cool. And then we have this scene with a black hole. And many people were thinking that that on the left was Amy. But no, that's just Knuckles tied up. And they're all tied up to some kind of barrel. It's a little hard to tell what they're tied to. Like, yeah, this shot right here had everyone fooled thinking it was Amy because Knuckles looks pink in this shot because of the lighting. But nope, that is Knuckles. It's not Amy. Let's continue. Yeah, giant black hole. And then you have yep, Sonic looking on in disbelief. Again, having me wondering if Tom's going to die. And then, of course, you have the reintroduction of Robotnik. You have Agent Stone on a bike. And you have this giant crab meat. Yeah, th this is literally the movie version of the crab meat. Like, just like we had the movie version of the Buzz Bomber in 2. But this looks cool. And I do like that they made the crab meat a lot bigger. Because crab meat is a bigger enemy than a Buzz Bomber in the games. But that's cool. I love this shot. And then we have Tails saying it's a bad idea to team up with Robotnik and... Sonic is just like, well, when's that stopped me before? And it's obvious that he's a lot more determined and a lot more angry than he usually is. Then we have some laughing. We have a shot of the inner base. And we have this. <laughs> Confirmation that we're getting fat Robotnik. Full-on full on game accurate Robotnik. Obviously, with a little bit of movie alteration. Um, many people are making the uh, Fat Thor comparison. <laughs> and I can't say I don't see it, but... I'm kind of hoping that they do this better than that uh, Thor got in Endgame. Because I was not a fan of that. But it is really cool that they're finally letting Jim Carrey win, uh, wear the fat suit. Especially since this may or may not be his final movie of his career. Letting, so they're pretty much letting him go out the way he wants to go out. Just Jim Carrey being Jim Carrey. <laughs> and you had just Stone talking about how there's visitors and him immediately pulling down his shirt in embarrassment. <laughs> the three of them looking on, shocked. This is low, Robotnik, even for you. <laughs> Again, the, the animation here, like the CG has been upped once again from 2, and I didn't think that was possible. I thought 2 was the best the CG could get, but they found a way to make it even better. And the only reason that Robotnik will help them is because Sonic allows him to get another <laughs> shock from his coil, once again throwing back to the very first movie. And then you just have... Jim being Jim. Jim Carrey being over the top and awesome. Bringing in Stone just to yell in his face. And then you have Stone giving him a haircut. Because I assume, like, uh, Robotnik's been hiding all this time. He's got his Yuppies guy's goggles. He's got his mustache. He looks so good, bro. 
I love that they have the little uh, logo for the occupied sign. And then you have this exchange where uh, Stone says there's not enough material to really compensate for his bigger size. So what does Robotnik do? He rips off the undershirt <laughs> to Stone and he says, Found some! <laughs> Again, they're doing, they are continuing the comedy. It's just not as comedic as per usual. Uh, Robotnik looks pretty much the same, maybe just a little bit bigger. And that's fine by me. I think his coat design and everything is cool. Then we have Shadow running around in something. If I had to guess that this is either like a spaceship or it's the Space Colony arc. The big final confrontation of the movie. And then we have some menacing narration from Shadow. We have that. <clears throat> we have another classic look re uh, redone for the movie with him looking back with that menacing, menacing stare. Like it's just Shadow again. Shadow being Shadow, man. And then you have this part. Confirmation: Shadow has his own motorcycle. He's got his Dark Rider. And he looks awesome. And the way that song's just like, hey, no cheat codes. That is pretty funny. And then we have all three of them rushing into battle. Uh, that looks like Tails flying either into the sky or to outer space. Oh, that's Chow. Hold on. Go back. Go back. I want to go back. Come on. Yes, the Dark Rider, we already saw that. Sorry, YouTube's just being a numbskull right now. Yes, we see the bike, we already saw them running with all their aura. We saw that shot. There's Robotnik looking around a corner. Right here. Chow. We are getting a Chow Garden in Sonic 3. I love that this is a thing. Also, they are sitting with uh, a military official. I can't tell if that's Tom or if that's someone else, but it's a little... Uh, let me see. Is it a little... Uh, I mean, I would say that's Tom, but it's hard to tell. Because he just gets thrown off in a way. But yeah, Chow Garden and Sonic 3 confirmed. And then we have the scene where uh, he asks, what did he do? And you just have the aura and lightning building up in Shadow's eyes as he looks at Sonic with dead serious emotion. And he says, what I had to. Showing that he has no regrets for what he's done. Dude, this, this movie is going to be the most amazing thing ever. I didn't think that they would top two, but this, they've topped two. <laughs> now let's talk about this part that the entire internet's losing their crap over. Um, th this is the Akira slide. This is the slide from Akira. From those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about an old anime movie called Akira, where Akira would do this exact same slide on a motorcycle, but Shadow is doing it up a building. Like, they're just determined to make this man look as badass as possible. Yeah, he's got the slide. That's probably how he projects himself into the air. And then he flips it around. And then we finally get to see that little uh, footage that the people at CinemaCon got to see. You have Shadow launching off his bike, sending it off to Nowhere Land. Then you have Sonic building up his energy for a big jump. And you have the two clashing and a shot very reminiscent of a Dragon Ball Z battle. Yes, I'm going to keep making the Dragon Ball comparison because it's obvious that the Sonic franchise took a lot of inspiration from it. But man, 
this movie looks absolutely just insane. And then we have the title reveal again. And the title and the logo look so cool. It's a nice homage to Sonic Adventure 2. <coughs> and then there's this scene. <laughs> where we see... Robotnik meets meet his grandpa. And the grandpa is also played by Jim Carrey. So this is pretty much Jim Carrey talking to himself. And that's how the trailer ends. Dude, this trailer was loaded with stuff, and the movie looks incredible. Like, <sighs> Paramount, I'm sorry I ranted and complained about you. You have made up for it in spades. Because this movie looks phenomenal, and I cannot wait to see it. It's going to be such a fun, fun watch. But... That's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you excuse me, I'm going to go get a throat lozenge now because my throat is sore. And this is for sure my last upload of the day. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this almost every single day. And I'll see you soon with another brand new video. Until then, have a super Sonic day. Take care. Sonic 3 is going to be the best movie of 2024. Mark my words. See you next time. You we can't, can't take it anymore. The time is coming. We can't find a way for.